It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 11th of February. I'm James Spann. Our complex winter weather pattern continues. Much colder air currently over the northwestern part of the state. And all of Alabama turns colder tomorrow and over the weekend. And could we see some ice through parts of the state, especially early next week. A lot to talk about, so let's dive in. Here we go. This is the upper air look, and once again today, we've got your classic set up for mischief across the southern states, the polar vortex over Canada, and an active southern branch of the jet stream. And one way, producing clouds over the state today, that's the visible satellite view. Hard to find any sun around here. And underneath the clouds, a lot of rain. And that's a cold rain up in northwest Alabama. Uh, maybe some thunderstorms down across the southern half of the state in advance of a front that is very easy to pick out today. Birmingham, 63. Cullman, 39. Uh, that cold front right around Blunt Springs. It's uh, 51 now for Tuscaloosa. They're getting in the colder air. Utah sitting at 48. But on the other side of that front, you've got 71 at Montgomery, 72 at Dothan. And then to the northwest, deeper in the cold air, Memphis at 29, where they saw freezing rain last night and early this morning. Uh, the ice storm warning for Kentucky will be expiring soon. We do note a winter storm warning deep in the heart of Texas this afternoon. That includes places like Austin and San Antonio. And this active winter weather pattern is going to continue for a while, so get used to it. Here's the severe weather outlook. No severe storms expected through tonight. Maybe some thunder. This is tomorrow, and this is Saturday, maybe some thunder over the southeastern tip of the state. Rain for the next seven days, pretty wet down here. Rain amounts between two and three inches for much of Alabama. So model fans, let's dive into this and see if we can answer your questions. This is the GFS, the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at three. Again, you can see that cold vortex over Canada, series of waves in the southern stream, but we're really in between waves during the day tomorrow. We'll be cloudy. Highs in the 30s over the Tennessee Valley, 40s for places like Birmingham, Anniston, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden with 50s down to the south. Rain will likely return late tomorrow night, and this is Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And that's a really close call for the northwestern tip of the state in terms of freezing rain. If you're in Florence, the Shoals, uh, just be aware the temperatures will be 32 to 35. But for most of the state Saturday morning, just a cold rain falling. And then by Saturday afternoon at 3, the bulk of the rain moving on to the east. Saturday will be cloudy and cold. Again, 30s over the Tennessee Valley, 40s for Birmingham, 50s down to the south. Now, this is Sunday. The better chance of any rain will be over southeast Alabama. The rest of the state will be dry. Again, highs in the 40s, except maybe 30s up in the northwestern part of the state. The next system beginning to organize off to the west. Now, this is Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And the GFS depicting some potential for freezing rain over the Tennessee Valley. And the European looking very similar. There's actually good model agreement here. And uh, so, again, uh, places like Athens, Decatur, Huntsville, the Shoals, maybe down to Hamilton. Uh, we might start off with some freezing rain Monday morning with a chance of icing and a really big winter storm unfolding over Texas. So this is Monday evening at 6 o'clock. And again, the GFS depicting freezing rain for much of Mississippi, parts of north and west Alabama, and the European in pretty good agreement. Its thermal value is a little warmer, but quite frankly, the European kind of busted today. It was too warm. So the idea of maybe some icing for north and west Alabama increasing early next week. So this is the potential accumulated freezing rain off the European model valid through Tuesday of next week. And the bulk of this would be Monday, Monday night, very early Tuesday. And this is suggesting some really robust amounts. And understand, you can't really forecast specific amounts this far in advance, but that certainly gets your attention with some one-half inch values over parts of north and west Alabama. And this is the GFS, and it is very similar, not quite as aggressive, but still we're seeing some totals in there close to a half inch of ice. So clearly the uh, potential for some icing problems is increasing for that part of Alabama. This is generally along and north of Interstate 59, uh, for Monday, Monday night, and early Tuesday of next week. And, of course, we can be much more specific as we get closer, but just be aware of that potential for now. And then Tuesday during the day, that's all out of here. So the bulk of this will be Monday and Monday night. Tuesday will be dry and cold. It could be in the 30s much of the day for the northern half of the state. Wednesday, here comes the next wave. 
coming in from the west. And this is a week from today, Thursday the 18th, a big trough approaching. This is suggesting rain on Thursday, maybe changing to freezing rain or maybe a, snoof, a few snowflakes on the backside of that thing. What a stretch of days here for the southern states. Wow. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 21st. The flow finally flattens and we are warmer and dry. So this is the snow output for Birmingham off the European. And most all those members showing light snow, that would be any changeover on the backside of the system toward the end of next week, about a week from today, and probably not much. Rain off the same model, the mean between 3 and 4 inches between now and the 26th of February. And this is the national blend of models. Uh, it's got the uh, high on Tuesday at 43, the low Tuesday morning of 28. And this is for Birmingham. It's going to be colder north and west of the city. And again, uh, the, the greatest chance of icing at the moment for Monday and Monday night would seem to be north and west of Birmingham. And the CPC outlook, this is for the 19th through the 25th of February. And again, a lot of blue on that map, representing temperatures expected to be below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.